2002, I think. GMC Sierra. Yep. This is the next vehicle we're gonna clean today. This one is filthy. And I mean filthy in a good way. It's got 221,000 miles. Pioneer Radio. He's going to be hitting the road in Oshkosh, Wisconsin. Okay. Change oil soon. Right. I've never started this truck before, but the owner that the video I made of the 2010 Buick Enclave with a bad alternator. That same owner owns this truck here. So if you guys didn't know that. And there's quite a bit of stuff in here, so. And I gotta air that rear tire up on the driver's side. And he said I could do it, so. That one, the owner of that one didn't want that one clean, so, and it doesn't need it. A little brake noise on this thing. Don't. This one's probably gonna maybe take a, you guys see what I mean, a couple hours. At least all the dash lights are working. I did a 2002 Silverado, I think it was a Silverado or a Sierra. Go check out the startup on that one. Oh, well, now, now the lights come on. I turn the switch off. Now they come on. All right. It sounds really good. Runs like a beast. 83 degrees. Okay, well, that's already off. Who was that light flash? Oh, cargo lamp. I actually think that's these lights. Wait. There they are. Ooh, LED. Of course, typical. This one. Oh, that one. Yeah, that's why they're off, because they flicker. Have a... Yep. Turn those suckers off. All right. I have to use the snapper light because my craftsman light died on me. It just completely shut off and it doesn't give me a warning. It just completely shuts off. Let's get to business because this one's going to take us some time here. And that tire right there needs air. I'm not even going to worry about the back. So He didn't mention anything back there. I don't know if these, yeah, they open. All right, a watermelon. Light falling out, probably the tab broke. Oh, it's in there now. Oh, that one looks replaced right there, that bottom marker light, and that one looks new. All right, this one needs a complete vacuum out. Let me go get the snapper light. Snap on. Yeah. This definitely requires... Does this one not work? I don't even know if I can do this side then. Okay, I got it open. I don't know if I'm going to worry about the back side because there's... But the guy said I could put the stuff all the way in his toolbox. Oh yeah, this is a required really good cleanup. 
I don't even know if this was ever cleaned. It's, I've seen a lot worse, though. I'm not going to lie at all. You guys have probably seen a lot worse. Because I know I have. The repos, when Tony used to repo, um, I mean, all the cars looked like this. So, yeah, time to get to business. I'm going to vacuum it out first. Very first thing I do. Make sure the seat's all the way back. Yeah, let's get all the carpets out. Yeah, okay, guys. So, yeah, that's what it looks like, and the outside's bad, too. Yeah, it's, it's kind of dirty, so. Got them both right there. Let's go. Just got done with the inside. It's been in here for like two hours or almost three, but wouldn't have been in here as long because something just happened when I was cleaning it. So I'll show you that real quick. The seat, as you can, you see it's up like that, but when I try to put it back all the way, it just, it's just stuck right there. So I saw from some videos how to do it, and most of that stuff I don't know how to do, like hot wire it and move the seat manually. And there was one that said just unplug the wire from the module and plug it back in, and that didn't work. You can hear one side moving, like that, but... It's only this side of the motor that's moving. If you click it so many times, but as you can see, the seat did not budge. Now it'll go up. That's, that's all the way up. Let me see if I can... Yeah. Now I gotta tell the owner about it. Hope he won't be mad. But I, I mean, I moved the seat up so I can vacuum underneath of it. And I got it the best I could. It's a million times better than what it was. I did all the panels, put cleaner and mothers on it. I mean, you can't even see a spot of dirt. I mean, this truck does have its issues. It's not perfect. Not every vehicle's perfect. But man, it turned out nice. I don't know if I'm going to pressure wash it because it's freaking raining. And it's, it's just going to get dirty on the outside again anyway. No, it's not really terrible. So I'll just not do the outside. But. I feel so stupid now because the seat. Yeah, I put everything on the back seats. Yeah, it was dirty. It, it took a while. I still need to air that rear tire up. Looks like 35 PSI. Yeah, the other tires are good. I didn't have any problems with this seat motor. I mean, I can't even tell there's dirt now. Okay, there's some. But, let me see if that'll come out. Yeah. Eh, kind of. Just gotta go over a few. Yeah, this truck turned out nice compared to what you guys seen. I mean, it was really filthy. I'm just gonna leave everything on the seat. I'll just let the owner deal with it. Because it's all his stuff, none of my stuff. And. Did, did both seat did both of the seat panels uh, the door has a little issue closing too yeah, yeah this truck needs some work done but it's an 002 some worn out parts in the dash yep well, I guess we'll start it up Move it out. I'm not going you know, to pressure wash it. There's no leg room at all. I wish this. Just... 
this is this is not that cool this this truck don't seem to like me that too well yeah you can see it a lot better on the radio yeah yeah here's i don't know if i showed you guys but here's why the lights are off flickering attack even on the passenger door under the glove box that one's the only one that doesn't and this one but at least it runs for me so i can at least move it all right It's a good runner, actually. I, I I need to show the motor. Seat motor's a little faster, but it. I think it's a five three. Yep. Which pretty good motors. Got a Rural King battery in it. Don't know how old it is, doesn't say, but the alternator looks new. Yeah, it's a good runner, man. Headlights are nice and bright. I'm gonna sound that washer fluid still. Well, I'm not gonna rev it. Well, now there's no warning light on unless... I think the door dry light's supposed to come on when that... Man, the alternator's good in this. Of course, jumpy gauges. Just like the older vehicles, too. And this... Actually, this sucker running. Because I'm going to move it right back out anyways. this window up but I'm gonna leave this one down because I don't want the keys to lock on me because I don't trust GM and yeah I don't yeah you guys just shouldn't trust them either when if you leave your vehicle running if you're at home or something roll your window down because you don't know what's gonna happen or shut it off for the safer part because you don't want, because if you don't have another set of keys with you, then you're screwed, and you'd have to wait a while to call somebody to unlock you. And, no, you you don't want all that spaghetti mess. Yeah, it was raining. It was raining pretty hard not too long ago. Where's the battery for my truck, F-150? You can't even hear the truck run. It's pretty quiet. Then you have a cap on it. Let's see what PSI it's got. I don't even know if we got a cap here either. I don't know where the air truck is that way usually over here. Oh well. I just use the silver one. I'll get the tire aired up. Okay, it's aired up. It was like uh, below 20 for sure. But I'm not even going to worry about a cap. Because we don't even have any lane by the tire machine. Yeah. Definitely got to tell the owner about what happened. You'd rather, you got to tell people something if, especially if it's somebody else's vehicle you don't want to just hide it it'll just make things a lot worse because what okay because you know he gets in here the seat was more back than this and like what the heck did he do to my truck he didn't even tell me honesty goes a long way guys this truck idles low and drive and neutral 
idles the same amount of RPM. Yeah, because this that sounds like an exhaust rattling or something. Back it. See if I can back it in. Definitely don't. Don't want to hit that explorer in front of me either. Don't want to hit that through trailblazer. Try putting it back again. That is nuts. And I saw. A video on it, it seems like it happens to a lot of people. Which I didn't think it'd be a common thing on a Chevy for the seat motor to get stuck. The passenger one is fine. It's just, of course, the drivers. Yeah, honesty goes a long way, guys. They might get mad, but that's okay because you're the one cleaning it or whatever. You just don't. You just don't want them to get mad at you even more if uh, don't tell the truth. Okay. Should be good enough. The keys were left in the ignition, so. This truck's a quiet truck. Right, I'll shut it off. Now yeah, there's the battery. Don't think anything's left in here. Yeah, this is not good because I don't even have any leg room. Yeah, it seems. I know one side of the seat motor's working. Yeah, everything's out. If not, he would tell me anyway. Well, I did the thing I wanted to, though. Clean it out, make it look nice. But just when they get back, I gotta tell them. There we go. That was nice!